rolling. Hi, we're down at the Caddis Fly Shop. I'm Bruce Berry with Pro Sport Fisher. And today we're going to do an overview or a tube tutorial to help demystify some of the stuff and make it easy. Um, we start with injection molded tubes. This is made specifically for the fly fishing industry with, with specially formulated plastics that are good in warm to cold temperatures. Our first tube is a classic, or excuse me, a flexi tube 4040, 40 millimeters of tying surface, 40 millimeters of junction. In US terms, it means an inch and a half and an inch and a half. These are all molded as one piece. The tying surface is 2.2 millimeters, fits all of our weights, cones, discs, and all the stuff you can put on it. Uh, to get going with that, you would just grab a flexi needle large. We would attach that to the vise, but all you need to do, this is milled flat with a taper. So you just simply put a 4040 in there, push till it stops. It doesn't spin or roll. Very simple system to tie on and get used to using. And we can do a myriad of different style flies with these. You can tie on the junction, you can tie only on the surface. The surface is where you put the weights, cones, and discs, the actual smaller 2.2 diameter. Uh, the next tube is a very Scandinavian style. Let's move over here to the micro tube. This is also injection molded for exacting quality. These come in black, yellow, green, red, orange, pink. I don't have that one today. And this is for traditional short bodied Scandi flies. Uh, really cool system, and it works in conjunction with a hook guide. These are tapered silicone. They come in lots of nice colors, uh, clear, black, yellow, green, red, orange, blue, pink, and purple. And they come in different sizes, small, medium, large, and extra large. This happens to be a large. That'll fit ones, twos, and fours. The extra large will fit one to eight aught. Medium will fit uh, four, six, and eight. Small will fit eight, 10, and 12. So you can take this short-bodied Scandi tube along with a highlight color or take away the color, and you can literally go from small trout flies to large saltwater flies. Uh, the next one in the system is called Nanotube. This came after Micro. Uh, guys in the U.S. have started to accept tube flies and they love the idea of the injection molded tube and hook guide, but they wanted more tying surface so they could tie larger flies, intruder type stuff, a little bit bigger winter flies. So it's essentially the exact same thing as a Micro Tube, but longer. And then it's got, because it's a bigger tube, it's got a double port on the back so it just holds the hook guide more aggressively. <coughs> Reason being is that we want to hold that hook guide securely and a lot of times with any kind of a toothy fish you don't want the fly to leave the hook and run up the leader. The fly will actually help protect your tippet. So essentially uh, similar to the micro tube, a little bit longer, double port for steelhead fishermen, no difference than the micro tube. Those also work with all the hook guide sizes. The next is we go to a classic tubing. This stuff over here represents three different sizes. We have a new predator that's extremely large for pike, musky, and saltwater fish. So these are extruded traditional tubing, uh, very economically done. They're 1.2 meters. They come in what we call a six pack. So there's six pieces, 200 millimeters a piece. So 1.2 meters of tubing and the retail price is $5.95. We start with classic small available in eight colors. That's 1.2 millimeters outside diameter. Then we go to medium. Medium goes to 23 different colors. At Caddisfly, we've selected the best of the bunch. That's 2.2 millimeters. And if you can pan over to the injection molded tubes, Chris, Pro Tube Medium is 2.2 diameters, just like the Flexi Tube, just like the Micro Tube, and just like the Nano Tube. So for you guys that are tying on Classic, this fits all of our weights, discs, and cones. Um, the next is going to Large. That's a 3.2 millimeter outside diameter. Again, lots of different colors. So if you want to do the build it yourself tubes, medium nest into small, or medium nest into large, small nest into medium. If we take medium and large, for example, we can make our own 4040s. No glue necessary. The way this plastic is formulated, glues don't work. So we just heat well a bump, push the small inside the or the medium inside the large, whip it together and tie our fly. Heat a, well, what do you mean? Uh, just, you know, burnish a little bit of heat on the medium, so we create a little bump, mm -hmm. and that you can kind of see the bump down in there in the back. The bump along with the whipping is going to keep the tube together. So heat it, then slide, then slide it in. Yep, heat it, wait 10 seconds, let the plastic reformulate, slide medium inside large, whip it together, and you've got a system that's ready to tie flies on. Now so the inside diameter of the classic tubes, you have really small 
very small trout fits, skaters. Fits the smallest needle. Yep, almost trout stuff. Yep, fits the, the small needle is necessary for the small. Once we go to medium and large, our traditional large flexion needle that most people know is the one to go with. Okay. And um, like we said, small nests into medium, medium nests into large, and extruded traditional style tubing, very economical, 1.2 meters for 595. Injection molded stuff would be flexi tube, micro tube, nano tube. Thanks for taking a look, and hopefully this helps you uh, decide what you want to go with and how to attack your pro tube um, style for what you want to use and fish with.